Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday morning practice. My name is Roxanne, and uh, I am so excited to be able to offer another online class and um, just so much gratitude for everybody who's joining us either right now or at any other time when it feels right to do some yoga and you decide to tune in to some of these online classes. So I invite you to find a comfortable form, perhaps seated. It might be with legs crossed or maybe it feels better to have one leg extended. Maybe propping yourself up on uh, support, it might be a cushion, a bolster, a foam chip block, whatever you may have, or a folded blanket, and just inviting yourself to let go. Just let go of everything that has already transpired this morning. All that's in the past. And just allow yourself to arrive, to just be. Beginning to just feel how it is to be present in each present moment. Maybe closing the eyes or keeping a soft gaze. And beginning to feel the body stilling. as we settle the body into a place of stillness, perhaps the mind begins to slow down. Perhaps bringing your awareness to your breath, which also may be shifting Perhaps the breaths are just a little longer, a little deeper, a little softer. Perhaps beginning to feel the sits bones pressing towards the earth. The crown of the head gently lifts upwards towards the beautiful blue sky we're blessed with here today. Maybe feeling the ears aligning over your shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Maybe feeling into the spine as it may begin to lengthen, open in its own way, in its own time. And this morning, I pulled three cards once again from the Art of Attention deck. And the cards that I pulled for us today are Responsibility. When you take responsibility, you ensure your evolution. The second card says playfulness. Your precision holds your playfulness. And I know I often speak in our classes about how yoga is really nothing to be serious about. So as we move through our asanas, our forms, 
just to allow yourself to be curious and explore and be playful and laugh and smile. I call it my grown-up playtime. <laughs> and the last card that I pulled is devotion. Practice devotion to those closest to you. This morning I'm going to share a passage from Yogi Amrit Desai's book called Love and Bliss. As you harmonize the forces of your body, mind, heart, and soul, the bliss of your being begins to manifest. It is a magnetic force that attracts synergistic forces, people, places, and events. It spontaneously brings true joy and fulfillment, health and happiness, wealth and well-being, prosperity and personal satisfaction. Despite the fulfillment of prosperity, you never grow dependent on what you have because you are inherently connected to who you are. The glory that comes to you is not achievement motivated by ego, but is the secondary manifestation of your primary connection to the source. When you are deeply rooted to your heart center, you manifest through being, rather than through doing and becoming. You carry within you and around you an energy field of unconditional love. Its sweetness exudes from your body and from your being. softly beginning to lift the hands away from the legs. Palms coming together at heart center in Anjali Mudra. Thumbs resting on the altar of your heart. And let's take a cleansing breath together, inhaling a little more deeply, filling the lungs. Let it go with a sigh. And now inhaling and uniting our voices with the sacred sound of Om. Inhale. dedicating your practice this morning to someone or something who can truly benefit from your love, your kindness, your energy. And now softly release the hands, letting them rest on your legs as we begin to move 
physically into our bodies, beginning with some slow, gentle circles. Feel free to change the positioning of your legs at any time. And throughout our practice today, if there is a movement or a shape that is not feeling good in your body, please modify, back out, or if there's something else that your body is urging you to do instead of what is being offered, by all means, listen to your body's wisdom implicitly without question. This practice is for you and only you know how your body is feeling and only you are fortunate enough to receive that information from the body as to what it's needing from moment to moment. And now beginning to circle in the other direction. Perhaps beginning to feel the breath and the movement moving as one in harmony. Perhaps closing your eyes or keeping a soft gaze. And maybe feeling the circles getting a little larger over time as the body may begin to open. And then softly finding your way back to center. Let's release the arms alongside the body. And as we inhale, slowly lifting the arms up. Maybe the gaze begins to look up as well. And then turning the palms towards the earth and as you exhale, gently letting the arms float back down. Moving with your own breath. Inhaling up. And exhale as you release the arms back down. the arms up as you inhale and this time as we exhale we'll circle the wrists in one direction as the arms float back down towards the earth and again inhaling up and as you exhale this time circling the wrists in the opposite direction One more time, lifting the arms up. And this time, palms come together as we release them down to our open heart center. Close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. And take a deep healing breath in. And as you exhale, let go of anything that is no longer serving you. Open the eyes, taking the right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes behind you for a spinal twist. The gaze can come straight ahead, or maybe you begin to turn your gaze over your left shoulder. It must be yoga time, because Pugsley's got his toy out again. Honestly, this is the only time all week, pretty well, that he plays with his toys. <laughs> Ah, oh, pretty funny. As you inhale, press down through your sits bones, extend up through the crown of the head. As you exhale, maybe twisting just a teeny bit deeper, coming to your edge. So that point where you feel sensation, but there's no excessive shaking or extreme pain. Keeping the hands where they are as you inhale, gently bringing the gaze towards your right shoulder, just moving the head slowly. And as you exhale, slowly floating the gaze either to the wall on your left or around towards your left shoulder. On the next inhale, releasing the left hand reaching the fingers up towards the sky. Stretch the fingers as wide as you can get them. Maybe bringing the gaze up towards your left fingers. 
And if you're called to, you may begin, begin to gently float over towards your right leg. You may feel wonderful in stillness here, or maybe there's a little bit of prompting from the body to begin incorporating little micro movements into the neck, the head, the shoulders. And when you feel complete, as you inhale, lifting those left fingers back towards the sky, and as you exhale, releasing the left hand over to the left hand side, reaching the right arm out to the side, and lifting the right hand up towards the sky, opening the heart, opening the gaze towards the sky, and you're welcome to stay here, or perhaps it feels natural to release that right arm alongside the right ear. And just making sure that both sits bones are grounded down into the earth. And again, maybe little micro movements here may feel good. And just imagining a ball resting on your left, left side as the body is lifting up and over top of this, perhaps beach ball or basketball. On your next inhalation, or when you feel ready to do so, beginning to lift your right arm up towards the sky. Left arm comes to meet it, maybe the gaze comes up, and as you exhale, releasing the hands down to your beautiful heart center. As you're ready, left hand comes to the right knee, right hand comes behind you, and beginning to come into a spinal twist in the opposite direction. The gaze might be straight ahead or looking over the right shoulder. And as you inhale, press down through the sits bones, stand up through the crown of the head. As you exhale, maybe twisting just a teeny bit deeper. Keeping the hands where they are, as you inhale, beginning to gently bring the gaze towards the left shoulder. And as you exhale, bringing the gaze either towards the wall on your right or moving towards the right shoulder. On your next inhalation, lifting the right arm up to the sky, stretch the fingers as wide as you can get them. You're welcome to stay here or if you wish, as you exhale, you might like to begin to fold towards your left leg. And just notice on this side if the body is wishing for micro movements or stillness. And honor what the body is urging you to do. And trying to disregard what the mind may be jumping in and trying to tell you to do. Next inhalation, lifting the right fingertips up towards the sky and releasing them off to the right hand side. Left arm comes out to the side and begins to stretch up towards the sky as the heart and the gaze come up. And if you wish, releasing that left arm alongside the left ear, maybe micro movements, and just checking that you're not collapsing into the right side of your body, feeling a gentle lift up and over as if there was a ball resting on your right side. 
sits bones resting on the earth. And then as you feel complete, lifting the left fingertips back up to the sky, right hand comes up to meet the left, palms come together, stretch up through the fingertips, and then softly release the hands back to the heart center. Releasing the hands, and let's move through some slow circles for our shoulders. Accentuating the movement, really feeling every action. And then circling in the other direction. Beautiful. And then maybe just shaking it out a little bit. Extending the right arm up towards the sky. Bending at the right elbow as the right fingertips come towards the, the area between your shoulder blades. If you wish, you can take your left hand and gently rest it on the right elbow. Breathe. Perhaps the breaths here are just a little longer, a little deeper, a little calmer. And on your next inhalation, gently releasing the hands and letting them float down to the sides of the body. Again, maybe a little gentle shake. And then when you're ready, extending the left arm up towards the sky, bending at the elbow as the fingers move towards that spot between the shoulder blades. You may wish to bring the right hand and rest it on the left elbow. Maybe close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. Allow yourself to tune inward. Finding that place of stillness in the body. Perhaps the mind is slowing down. Maybe the breath is softening, lengthening. One more breath. And then gently releasing the arms and letting them come down alongside the body. And now just letting the hands rest on the legs, dropping the chin towards the chest. Feeling that opening in the back of the neck. Option to bring your hands to the sides of the head if you'd like. Feel free to exhale any time with a sigh or a sound. It's a beautiful way to remind the body to let go of stress and tension it may be holding on to. And now gently bringing the head back to center. And if you wish, beginning to slowly lift the chin towards the sky just coming to that first point of sensation and trying not to collapse into the back of the neck, but instead feeling that lift from the chin upwards as the heart and the sacrum are opening up towards the sky as well. And then maybe gently opening and closing the jaw. center, releasing the left ear over the left shoulder. Maybe the left hand rests on the right side of the head. Option if you wish to release the right fingertips towards the earth or bending the right elbow and resting the lower part of the arm along the lower back. 
Breathing into that beautiful opening in the right side of the neck. Feeling into that space being created, the opening in that side of the neck. And then gently release as the head comes back to center. And now the right ear falling over the right shoulder. Maybe the right hand resting on the left side of the head. An option if you wish to release the left fingertips towards the earth or bending at the elbow, and bringing the lower arm along the back. And when you feel complete, gently releasing. And now, if you are propped up on the support, you may wish to come off of it as we take our hands behind ourselves and extend the legs out in front and give them a nice little shake. <sighs> Maybe circling the ankles in one direction and then the other direction. Flex and point. And it might even feel nice to bring the soles of the feet to the earth at the edges of our yoga mat, knees reaching to the sky as we windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And then we'll come up to seated. Extending the legs out nice and wide. And then gently, as you inhale, lifting the arms up alongside the ears. Feel a beautiful lengthening in the spine, the arms. Do you feel grounded down through the sits bones? And as you exhale, beginning to slowly fold forward, feeling yourself extending out, spine is long, reaching out through the fingertips, out through the crown of the head. And then as you find that point of sensation, you're welcome to release the arms down to the earth, but continuing to lengthen out through the crown of the head. Spine is long. Breathe. As the body may begin to open into this form, you might be able to walk the fingertips just a teeny bit farther ahead. And now propping yourself up onto your fingertips and beginning to walk the hands over to the right hand side, framing that right foot with both hands and beginning to extend over your right leg. back up onto your fingertips, walking the hands back through center, and continuing over towards the left leg, framing that left foot with both hands as you extend over top of the left leg. Turning to fingertips, walking the hands back to center, walking the fingertips perhaps a little farther out in front. Maybe there's been some release and opening in the sides of the body. Just 
two deep breaths here. And as you are complete, beginning to walk the hands back towards the torso, gently lifting yourself back up. And now softly transitioning into tabletop position. You may wish to have the knees supported with some cushioning, so maybe a folded blanket or a towel or doubling up your mat may feel really nice. As you find your way to tabletop position, checking that the wrists are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, and we'll move through a few cow and cat. As you inhale, the belly drops to the earth, the sits bones lift to the sky, sternum reaching up to the wall in front of you, gaze coming up. On your exhalation, pressing into the knees and the hands, beginning at the base of the spine as you curve the spine up towards the sky, head dropping down into position last, neck is soft, you might even wish to gently rock the head from side to side. And now flowing through these undulations of the spine, following your own breath. Maybe closing the eyes, blocking out all those external visual stimuli. And begin to look inward. Let's move through two more cycles here. And when you're done, back to tabletop position, walking the hands a little farther out in front of you as we begin to move into our hips a little more starting to circle them around in one direction. And then the other direction. Lubricating those hip joints. And that synovial fluid flowing with a little more ease. And then finding your way back into tabletop position and releasing back into a child's pose. Arms are stretched out overhead, big toes are touching, sits bones reaching back towards the heels, forehead resting on the earth or coming towards the earth. From here, we'll come into cat bow, so coming onto your forearms that are resting on the earth. Pressing yourself up into cow. As you exhale, coming into cat, curving the spine up, and releasing back into child's pose. We'll do that two more times, inhaling into cat bow. Continue your inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. And as you finish your exhalation, releasing back into child's pose. Inhale to cat bow. Cow. Cat and child's pose. Now coming into cat bow, up into cow. We're going to change it up a little here. We're moving into cat. And then from cat, we're going to actually press ourselves into a down dog. Our first down dog of the practice. 
You may wish to walk the dog, so pedaling the feet out one at a time. Feeling your heart melting towards your thighs, keeping the knees bent as much as you need to. And then lifting the right leg up towards the sky, preparing for scorpion, opening that right hip so the toes are now facing the wall on the right, and then gently releasing the right heel towards the left buttock. The gaze might be underneath the right armpit. You may wish to slowly circle your right knee in both directions. You may also wish to press into your left toes as you lift the left heel a little farther away from the earth, creating just a little more space and opening. And coming down onto your left foot as you would like to. And then gently releasing that right leg straight out behind you, maybe lifting a little higher towards the ceiling. And then releasing the right leg down to the earth, coming into our down dog. And now releasing into child's pose. Let's take two breaths here. Of course, you're always welcome to stay here longer or in any form longer and then catch up with us as you feel ready to do so. As you're ready, inhale into cat bow, pressing up into cow. Exhale into cat, and now press yourself back into down dog. Lifting the left leg towards the sky, opening that left hip, and then releasing the left heel towards the right buttock. Maybe the gaze comes under the left armpit, maybe inviting little circles into the knees here, and maybe lifting up onto your right toes, and then releasing back down as you feel ready. So playfulness, having a little bit of fun here, being curious, exploring, Trying different things out. And then gently extending that left leg out behind you, maybe lifting it a little higher towards the sky. And then releasing that left leg alongside the right, releasing down into child's pose. Three breaths. As you're ready on your inhalation, cat bow, cow, cat, and uh, um, down dog. Lifting the left leg up to the sky and stepping that left leg between the hands. Finding yourself in a lunge. Checking that the left knee is over top of the left ankle. You're welcome here to release that right knee to the earth. And just notice if a little adjustment here will bring a little bit more sensation into this opening. So maybe walking that back foot back a little bit or Maybe walking the front foot forward a little bit. Option to keep the hands on the earth, or you may wish to bring the hands to your thigh. 
or lifting the arms up to the sky. Maybe finding yourself in a gentle back bend. And then releasing the hands back to the earth and coming into half Hanuman. So extending that front leg. So it's straight, of course, keeping a micro bend in the knees, toes reaching up to the sky as you slowly begin to bring your buttocks back towards the wall behind you, just ever so slightly. You may wish to rock that front foot slowly from side to side. And then bringing the foot back to center and gently releasing and bringing that left knee alongside the right knee and releasing back into child's pose. On your next inhalation, coming to cat bow, up to cow, exhale into cat, press up into a down dog, right leg extends out behind you, stepping it between the two hands. Finding lunge on the other side, releasing the left knee to the earth, and again, making any adjustments so you can feel into that beautiful opening for the hip. So maybe walking the left foot back a little bit or the right foot forward a little bit, but always making sure that the right knee is over top of the right ankle here. Option if you'd like to bring the hands to the thigh or lifting the arms up alongside the ears, shoulders moving away from the ears, shoulder blades coming together and down the back, feeling an opening, a widening in the collarbones if you do have your arms lifted. And releasing the hands back to the earth, extending that right leg so that it's now straight, toes are reaching up to the sky, coming into half Hanuman, the sits bones reaching back towards the wall behind you, keeping the hips parallel, maybe softly rocking that right foot from side to side. And just feeling that lengthening in the spine here, extending out through the crown of the head. And then bringing the foot back to center and releasing that foot back to the earth and now bringing the right knee alongside the left knee and releasing back into a child's pose. On your next inhalation, just coming into tabletop position, pressing yourself up into a down dog. Stepping or hopping the feet towards the hands, coming to the front of your mat and finding your way into a forward fold. Bending the knees as much as you like, belly resting on the thighs. Torso cascading towards the earth. The head is hanging heavy. The neck is soft. You may wish to gently rock the head slowly from side to side, up and down, just to make sure that the neck muscles are relaxed. 
The arms can be hanging like empty coat sleeves, or you may wish to bring the hands behind the calves. Or maybe there's some other variation for the arms that your body is calling for right now. Follow those urgings without question. Maybe over time, the knees begin to lengthen, straighten, but always keeping a micro bend in the knees. Ah, and now releasing those arms so they're just dropping towards the earth. And on your next inhalation, press into both feet as you slowly begin to unfurl the spine, chin tucked in towards the chest. And as the spine straightens, the head comes into position, roll the shoulders back, opening the palms, finding your way into mountain pose. Maybe closing the eyes or keeping a soft gaze and just begin to feel into any sensations you may be experiencing as you observe and witness without any judgments, preferences. Just allow yourself to be aware of what is going on within the body, allowing it to just be as it is accepting of it all. No need to change anything. And now let's softly flutter the eyes open and inhale the arms up, perhaps finding a gentle back bend. As we exhale, we're gonna swan dive. So bend the knees as much as you'd like towards the earth, finding our way into a forward fold. Coming into diver's pose. So you can have your fingers on the earth or your hands can be resting on the shins. You want the spine to be lengthening, to be flat. You want the shoulder blades to come together down the back. On your next exhalation, releasing back down towards the earth. And as you inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Perhaps palms come together overhead, coming into a gentle back bend, and then hands float down to our beautiful heart centers. We'll do that two more times. Inhale the arms up, and swan dive down. Inhale into divers. Exhale, forward fold. And on your inhalation, reverse swan dive, gentle back bend, and then hands release down through heart center. Last time, inhale the arms up, swan dive down, divers, forward fold, Reverse swan dive. Heart center. We'll come into a sun salutation in honor of the beautiful sun shining outside right now. Inhale the arms up. Swan dive down, diver's pose. Exhale, release, stepping the right foot back, coming into a high lunge. If you wish, you're welcome to release the right knee to the earth. Inhale the arms up if you'd like. Now release the right hand to the earth as the left hand rests on the sacrum, coming into a twist, looking over to the wall on your left. Option to release that left arm up to the sky. We're 
releasing that left hand back to the earth, stepping the left foot back to meet the right, two breaths in plank. Option to release down onto your knees if you wish. And now releasing down onto your belly. You can bring the knees down first if you'd like, just finding your way down in any way that feels natural for you. Hands coming underneath the shoulders. The shoelaces of the feet resting on the earth, pressing into the earth. As we roll the shoulders back, elbows stay tucked in. Reaching out through the sternum to the wall in front, finding our way into baby cobra. You may wish to bring the gaze over one shoulder and then gently float through center, gaze over the other shoulder. Coming back to center, releasing yourself back down to the earth, transitioning back through tabletop, pressing ourselves into a down dog. Extend the right leg out behind you, stepping it between the hands. Keeping the hands resting on the earth, high lunge. Taking the left foot, bringing it up to meet the right, forward fold. Release the torso, relax the neck. Head is hanging heavy. And as you're ready, reverse swan dive slowly all the way back to standing. Perhaps finding that gentle back bend. And hands come down through heart center. Coming into mountain, close the eyes, keep a soft gaze. Perhaps feeling that prana, the energy moving with a little more ease through the body. Maybe guiding some of that energy up towards the third eye center. Point between the eyebrows, two to three inches back into the skull. And now flutter the eyes open as you're ready. Inhale the arms up. Gentle back bend as we swan dive down to the earth. Diver's pose. Exhale, release to the earth, stepping the left foot back this time. Option if you wish to bring the left knee to the earth or you may like to stay in a high lunge here. If you're called to, you're welcome to bring the arms up alongside the ears. preparing for our twist on this side, releasing the left hand down to the earth, the right hand comes onto the sacrum, bringing the gaze towards the wall on the right, and option if you wish to bring that right arm up towards the sky, but if you're struggling here, just release that hand to the sacrum. And from here, bringing the right hand back down to the earth, stepping the right foot back alongside the left, coming into plank. Two breaths. Option to release down onto your knees if you wish. And then finding your way down onto your belly again. You may wish to come onto your knees first or release straight down. And this time bringing the hands out a little farther to the side, up on tented fingers. Elbows are bent and preparing for exotic cobra. So as you inhale, pressing into the fingertips and finding the sternum reaching to the wall in front. 
And again, you may bring the gaze over one shoulder, coming back through center, looking over the other shoulder, back through center. And as you're ready, releasing back down to the earth, hands returning under the shoulders, pressing ourselves back through table, back into our down dog. Left leg reaches out behind us, stepping it between the hands. And stepping the right foot to meet the left, forward fold. And reverse swan dive, all the way back up. Gentle back bend. Hands come down through heart center. And releasing them. Maybe giving yourself a little shake. Maybe your body would like to be in stillness. Just whatever feels right for you. And we'll prepare for some breaths of joy. So just making sure that there's nothing in front of you or above you or off to the side that you may bump yourself into. So just finding that perfect spot on your mat. And then as you're ready, we'll inhale, hands to shoulder height. Inhale, the arms out to the sides. Inhale all the way up. And as we exhale, we let it go. So as you're ready, inhale, 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 release. gently pressing into your feet as you slowly unfurl the spine, find your way back to standing. <sighs> we'll do that one more time and this time when we come to the final one instead of uh, releasing into a forward fold we'll come right back to a standing form. So join in as you're ready. <sighs> close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. Just let yourself tune inward and again feel as a witness, observer, without criticism or judgment. tuning into a felt sense of more joy, love in your heart. And peace. Now let's open the eyes and we'll move into a squat. You're welcome to keep the feet parallel or perhaps today a wide legged squat may feel more comfortable for your body. If you're moving into the wide-legged uh, version, just make sure the feet are at a 45 degree angle. And then gently begin to release yourself down. And you can have your hands on your thighs. 
And this may be your squat today, and this is perfect. You don't need to come any lower. If this is where your body is telling you to stop, this is your edge, then listen to that. And if there's more available for you today, you may wish to release farther down. Maybe the hands are coming together at heart center in Anjali Mudra. Just checking that you're not curving forward and you're not looking down towards the earth. So if what you're wanting here is for the spine to stay long, gaze coming forward. And if the elbows are pressing into the thighs and the thighs can gently be pressing back in towards the elbows. If you have a block or something that you like to place under your sits bones to release yourself onto to come into a supported version of a squat, that can feel beautiful as well. It takes the stress off of the knees while still coming into this beautiful hip opener. And breathe, knowing you can come out at any time. And then as you feel done, <laughs> feel free to release down onto your sits bones in any fashion that suits your body. And as you come into a seated form, let's come into some spinal rocking. And if spinal rocking doesn't feel good for you, then just release down onto your back, bringing the knees in towards the chest and rock from side to side. Now let's all find our way onto our backs as we extend ourselves nice and long. So reaching the arms out overhead, legs are stretching in the opposite direction and just feeling yourself extending out through the fingertips, out through the toes and feeling a beautiful lengthening and stretching of the body. And just keep stretching and stretching and stretching and relax. We'll do that one more time. Inhale and stretch out through the fingers, stretch out through the toes, and stretch and stretch, and relax. We're going to come into a reclined twist, so inviting the knees in towards the chest, Extending the arms out in a nice wide T-shape and on your exhalation, knees floating over to the left. If you find that the left knee, left leg does not reach the earth, then sliding a bolster or a folded blanket or a cushion underneath your left leg may help with, your, with the alignment. Something nice here as well can be to place a cushion between the two knees. A gaze might come towards the right fingertips. And if you'd like a little deeper twist in the spine, you can take your left hand to the outside of the right knee and just guide the knees a teeny bit higher. And then release that left arm once again into your T-shape. Just checking that your right shoulder is resting on the earth. If it's not, then placing a support under your left leg may change the alignment and may allow that right shoulder to perhaps move a little closer towards the earth. And once you find a place of comfort, a place of ease, then just allow yourself to begin to relax. Let go into this shape. No thinking, no doing. Just feeling and being. Maybe closing the eyes. Relax. 
relax the jaw. Two more breaths on this side. Bringing the head back to center. One knee at a time comes back to center. Hugging the knees in towards the chest. Maybe lifting the head away from the earth as you bring the nose towards the knees. Release the head back to the earth. Arms stretch back out into our T-shape. And as you exhale, knees softly floating over to the right hand side. And on this side, it may feel a little different. So maybe a support under your right leg or between the two knees might allow for a deeper sense of comfort. This time the left shoulder is gently moving or resting on the earth, the gaze might be over towards the left fingertips. And again, option to take the right hand this time to the outside of the left knee, perhaps guide the knees a little higher, and then release that right arm back into your T-shape. And once you find yourself in your form, just beginning to soften, let go muscles releasing and relaxing. Two more breaths. Head comes back to center. Knees follow suit. And just noticing if there's any other movement or shape that your body is wishing for. Maybe circling the knees in one direction and then the other direction. Maybe you're called to find your way into a bridge or into a shoulder stand. Or maybe you're called to come into a happy baby pose. So just follow what your body is wishing for. Anything that still is needed before the body finds its way into Shavasana, final relaxation form. And when you feel complete, beginning to find your way into Shavasana, you may wish to put a sweater on, maybe socks, might feel nice to have a blanket to cover yourself with. If you have a wall nearby and you'd like to move into Shavasana by coming into legs up the wall, that might feel really nice as well. So just taking your time as you find your way to what they say is the most important pose of the practice, Shavasana, where we allow time for the body to integrate everything that it has experienced during the class. You may even wish to roll up a blanket or a towel or if you have a bolster or cushion and slide it under the knees or lower thighs. And sometimes it feels nice to actually do Shavasana with the feet on the earth and the knees bent. And maybe just 
taking the feet to the edges of the yoga mat and the knees gently falling in towards one another. So just finding whatever feels perfect for you now, right here in this moment. As you begin to find that place of relaxation, perhaps beginning to feel the body sinking down into the earth, a sense of heaviness, much like a stone sinking in water, beginning to feel relaxation sweeping from the tips of the toes through the feet, up the legs, through the pelvis and hips, chest, back, shoulders and arms, neck, jaw, soften, relax. Allowing these words to enter every cell of your being. When you are deeply rooted to your heart center, and you manifest through being rather than through doing and becoming. You carry within you and around you an energy field of unconditional love. Its sweetness exudes from your body and from your being.
to feel your breath. Feel your body. Feel your breath filling your whole body. Beginning to gently awaken the physical body by inviting micro movements into your fingers and your toes, wrists and ankles, arms and legs. Perhaps gently beginning to rock your head slowly from side to side. You may wish to gently reach the arms up overhead, maybe stretching the body. And then maybe inviting the knees back in towards the chest, rocking slowly from side to side. And then rolling over to your preferred side as you rest in the fetal position. Gently pressing yourself back to seated, keeping the eyes closed or a soft gaze, allowing yourself to stay deeply inwardly connected. And take a moment to notice how relaxed the body is. How quiet the mind is. How soft the breath is. And how gentle the heartbeat is. And know that you can return here again and again. Such is the promise of the practice. Now gently taking the left palm, resting it over your heart center, or right palm over top. Just dropping the chin slightly towards the chest, bowing to yourself. And thanking yourself for making time for your practice. For this wonderful opportunity to nourish, reset, rejuvenate and heal the body, mind, heart, and spirit. We'll close our practice by uniting our voices with one OM. We'll inhale and chant. As we prepare to step off of our mats and move into this beautiful world that is awaiting our presence. Remember to share with everyone you meet that energy field of unconditional love that you carry within you and around you and allowing its sweetness to exude from your body and from your being. Hariyam Shanti, healing and peace. Jai Bhagwan. Namaste.
wishing you a beautiful day and hope to see you again soon. Thank you. And much love to you all. Be well and stay healthy.